Yes, sir. This meeting is being recorded. So, so in performance testing, right? Actually, we will give for the training for the performance testing. In the performance testing, we have the different tools in market. Load runner, mega load, J meter load gen, so stuff. So using these all tools, we can do for the performance testing. But most of the companies using for the only load runner and assume to the J meter. So that is why most of the 99% company using for the only load runner only. And some companies, very small companies, they are using for the J meter. So that is why I will explain for in our class like load runner and J meter. So we need to start with the load runner. And once load runner is completed, we'll move to the J meter and we can finish our okay classes. So first we'll go with the load runner. So first thing, why we can do for performance testing? Any idea, Master? What is performance testing? Master? Master, are you there? Uh, performance testing is a testing measure, measure that the events, the speed, the uh, responsive on the stability of computer network uh, software program or device under workload. Yeah, see, in performance testing, nothing but we want to test for the any one of the testing of the application behavior under various conditions like scalability, reliability. So nothing but we want to, for example, we have the Facebook application will be there. Okay, what will happen in Facebook? What are things we can do? We can launch the application and after that we need to log in, upload video, download video and comment and like and create and uh, log out. So these are the each and everyone will do that one. Then what will happen? So day to day will be user will be increasing for that application. So then what will happen? Their application will be number of user will be accessing. Maybe what will happen when you are logging to try to log in, it is taking for the time for more time because they're not dead for the performance testing. So that is why if it is a number of users also, if it is access their application, their application within two seconds will be open for the login or if you upload a video or download it within two seconds, it is happening or not, we need to identify. So that is the main point of what we can do for the performance testing. Say for example, now is the Dasra came. So what will happen in Flipkart, Amazon and Snapdeal, they will give for the offers. So they will give for the offer, what will happen? Everyone can log in and after that they will book the product, different type of product will book. Then what will happen? Number of users will be access their application. At that time, what will happen? Maybe their application will be cross. So that is why what they can do before coming to the offer only, they will test their application. Okay, last time Dasra, uh, 3 lakh users will be access my application. So could you please test with the 5 lakh users. So in 5 lakh users access of also of my application, it will be not cross application and there is a no slow also. So that is the point of we need to do for the performance testing. Once they did for this performance testing, they come to the offers, they will give for the offer also. Everyone will access that application also. The application will be, it will not crash. So then what will happen? Everyone can use that application and everyone do for the, they order the product and they will do for their transactions. So main thing, this point of view, we can do for the performance testing. Got it everyone? So uh, now in that, what is our work means in performance testing, we have the load runner is tool. One of the tool is a load runner. So in this load runner, we have the five components. What are there means virtual user generator and controller and agent process and load generator and analyzer. Using these five components only, we can do for our end-to-end -end testing. So first one will be, what is the first one virtual user generator? So virtual user generator means virtual user generator. Virtual user generator means we want to record the business flow and generate for the script statement purpose, we can use for the virtual user generator. So business flow means what? 
see for example i already explained in facebook application launch login and uh, upload video download video this all we can consider as a business flow this business flow you want to record means where we can record means using for the virtual user component we can record the our script and after record the script what we can get we can get for the some script statement will be generated so that is point of view we can use for the virtual user generator so first will be i will show one business flow then you can understand for that how it is a business happening see for example one flight booking application will be there so this is the flight booking application so application name will be web tour using this web tour application we need to book the flight so this is our project you can observe now i am doing for the login jojo and uh, a given bean and click on login button and you want for book the ticket means what you need to do click flights click on flight button and after that so you need to book the flight means you need to go where some departure city area city right so you need to select for the any one of the departure city and any one of the area city and if you want change the departure date area date means you can change otherwise you can keep and seating preference also that is your choice and type of seat also your choice and click on continue see now you can observe depends on the departure date london to los angeles is a 1916 is a these all available flights so you want to book the flight means you need to select for the any one of the flight depends on the your time availability depends on the cost you need to select any one of the flight okay and after that click on continue now you are selected flight so we want to selected flight so without payment we can't do for the ticket booking right so that is why it is asking for the payment details so you need to give for the name address like uh, i am giving for the aminpur and uh, city i am giving for the hyderabad and uh, here it is asking for the credit card number okay and uh, expiry date of the credit card and click on continue see thank you for booking through web tour application your ticket is booked successfully now what is the our business scenario we need to book the flight ticket is our business flow so final will be we are booked the ticket and once booked the ticket is completed we need to sign up the application because without sign up we can't do right so you need to sign up so this is the our business flow this business flow we can record for the v user using for the virtual user generator so first comment what virtual user generator so we need to write the some steps here i will open notepad and what are things we are doing in flight booking application so our project will be web tour okay in the web tour what we are doing first what we done we are launch the application see it's a launch application launch web tour url and after that launch what we are doing what we are doing we are logging to the application login jojo and bean you are given means what you are doing login you are doing second transaction name we can call it as each and every one will be transaction launch is one transaction login is one transaction and after that third one will be we are doing for the login is completed see so login is completed now what you are doing click on flight so what you are doing you need to write for the steps click on flights and number 4 see you can click the flights so after click on flight now what we are doing we are finding the flight some somewhere to somewhere we are finding like london to paris or you need to select any one and you are finding the flight so you need to write for the step name find the flight and after that you need to perform the flight and click on continue so this is also find flight only so other way okay no need to you can select any one of the flight click on continue see find flight is completed next what is that payment details mm -hmm. so what you are doing payment details you can do for the payment details and payment you done for the payment okay we enter details payment is completed ticket is booking completed last is the what is the transaction name sign up so sign up so this is our business flow so now going to here 
See, virtual user generator means we want to record the business flow and generate for the script statement. So business flow, nothing but this is for the web to business flow. Maybe you are doing for the some Facebook application. Assume. Facebook is our project. So in Facebook also, what things we can do, Mustan? Launch URL. Launch URL. And second. Login. 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 Yes, login. And third, upload Facebook video. Home page. Upload video. Upload video. And fourth one. Download video. Download video. And next. Don't log out. Sorry? Sign up. We can do Sign up. comment also. We can do right. Comment we can do. Yes. Yes. <laughs> And uh, seventh one, yeah. also we can do. And last, sign up. Sign. Sign. So, means each and every business flow, this is our business flow for the web tour application. This is for the Facebook application. So, means we need to record this script, I means using for the virtual user generator component, we need to record the script. So what is the virtual user generator means? Once you can install the software, this is the virtual user generator. See, you're able to see virtual user generator. Now I will open this and how to we can record, I will show you. See, virtual user generator, I'm opening. And once open this virtual user generator, it will be looks like this. And if you want to create new script, it means, here plus icon is there, right? You can click on plus icon. See, create new script. So we need to web application we are doing because web tour application, Facebook application, Twitter, banking application, insurance application, health care application. All applications will be web applications only. So all web applications we need to select for the web HTTP HTML protocol. Which protocol? Web HTTP HTML protocol. So you need to select the protocol and here is a script name. So which script we are doing? See, you can observe here. We can do for the web tour script we can do. So what is the application name? Web tour. Web tour. Web tour. In the web tour, what we are doing? Flight booking. Flight booking. So when you are giving for the script name also, we need to give for the proper. Like what is the application name? First application name will be web tour application. In the web tour, what we are doing? Flight booking. Flight. Flight booking. And you need to give for the date of the today date. You can give 5909-2022. So just I given script name. So script name also we need to give for the proper. Like what application you are testing and that application what you are doing and today date. And uh, going to here, location, nothing but this script will be saved to the, in this location. Like document, we use a scripts. It is share, save this script. Now, once we can select for the protocol and uh, select uh, enter for the script name, we need to click on create button. This is the create button. Just click it. So once we can, uh, click on create button, it will open the our vision look like this. Now we need to record the script. So how to we can record the script it means this is the record button. You are able to see, Master? Yes, 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 Kiran. So you can click on this record button. And after that one pop-up window will open and uh, you need to only identify the application. Application nothing but, so we have the different type of browsers will be there. You know, right? Browsers, Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, yes. Mozilla Firefox, Microsoft Edge. Yes. So you can select any one of the browser. So I am selecting for the Google Chrome. And now this is the very important for here. So here URL will be there. Now you are doing for the web tour application. That is the way you need to give for the web tour URL. You can give for the web tour URL. Maybe you are doing for the Facebook application. You are testing the Facebook application. Then what we need to do? We need to give for the Facebook application, www.facebook.com. 
maybe you are doing for the some bank the banking application then www.icicibank.com means you need to observe here one thing which application you are testing you need to give for that application url here but now which url we are doing web tour web tour application so means you need to copy that url so this is the web tour application i copy this url and you can paste it here so real time also what will happen means which application you are testing they will give for the username uh, like uh, url and the same to the username password this all details they will provide so you need to copy and paste it for here got it everyone so once complete this application selection and url you need to click on start record button this is the start record button just click on this start record button what will happen means which browser you are selected google chrome so automatically no need to open manually automatically this web tour application will be open in this browser so you can see now start recording i click on start recording and click on okay see you can observe automatically we are not opening anything automatically open see browser it automatically it will open see it is open or not which bro which url it is open google chrome web tour chrome web tour url will be open now launch is completed next what we need to do login login so what is that we can call it as each and every one will be call it as a transaction i told right like launch is one transaction okay. login is one transaction click on flight is a one transaction find flight is a one transaction and payment details is a one transaction sign up is a one transaction so now what we need to do now you are doing for the login so you need to give for the transaction see here you can see the insert start transaction what you are doing now login login so you can click on this button and here you can remove that and give it as a what you are doing you need to give for that login and click on okay and now you can perform login like enter for the username and password and click on login see login is completed or not yes so completed means you need to end the transaction see you can observe this is the end transaction insert end transaction you can click on there it will show the login means login is ended here that is why you are closing this now again what you are doing click on flights you are doing flight. before click on flights you need to come to here start transaction click on this and give it as a name as a click on flights flights and click on okay now you can perform for the click on flights see click on flight is completed means you need to end the transaction is a click on flight now again what you are doing we are finding the flight so you can click on the transaction name it as a click on flights okay and now you can select for the departure city and arrival city and you can you can change the date means you can change the date also i'm changing 17 and this is i'm changing for the 19 return and windows and first coach and click on continue so you can observe this is also find flight only that is why i am not ending this transaction because continuing for the this flight so that is why i am not ending this one continue this one so you can select for the any one of the flight click on continue see now find flight is transaction is completed or not so completed means what yes. we need to do we need to end the transaction in find flight now what transaction we are doing payment details payment details you can give it as a payment details click on okay and uh, give it for the address and uh, city okay and after that credit card details and expiry date of the credit card click on thank you so our ticket booking is completed payment also completed we need to end the payment final transaction what we need to do 
sign off sign off you can give for the transaction name sign off click on okay and click on sign off so you are need to end the sign off sign off is completely end now your business scenario is completed or not you can go there and check we done for the launch you web tour application login is completed click on flights completed find flight is completed payment is sign off completed means everything is completed means you are what is the your business flow that business flow you are recorded successfully then you need to stop recording this is the stop recording button able to see just click on stop recording yeah. once click on the stop recording automatically the code will be generated no need to write manually anything okay after that go to the actions and we are able to see the everything we are able to see this is the launch application this code is generated and after that we can able to see what we did the last start transaction login login is started see you can observe login name username password i given username jojo bin and after that login ended here and after login completed what we did click on flight see click on flight started and click on flight will be ended and after that what we did find flight see the last start transaction find flight and you can observe here okay we are given for the selected for the departure city area city you can observe and the departure date also we are given everything is recorded you can observe what are the values you are given all will be dis displayed see written date and assign to seat preferences seat type all everything will be recorded and you can go there this is the flight we are selected for the 242 flight after find flight is completed what we done payment like i enter for the address one kbh like uh, address to hyderabad credit card details and expired of credit card details this is the payment details after payment is completed finally what we did sign up is failed so everything is recorded or not what is yes. our business flow everything is recorded or not yes yes okay so now we'll just execute uh, just in logs we need to check for the every time in, this is the runtime settings you can click on this when you are replay the script or execute the script you need to check for the in logs in that we need to check for the extend logs and check for the parameter substitution these two will be mandatory things when you are executing extend logs and parameter substitution and we can save this and now we want to execute means this is the replay button so just click on that See now runtime viewer also you are able to see it's a launching application, login, flight booking and logout. So your script will be passed. But you can observe here. So what are the transaction name you are given? All transactions displayed. Login, click on flight, find flight, payment details, sign up. And one time only it is executed. One time, how much time it is taken? You can observe some hours, minutes, seconds, milliseconds means login is the one user how much time it's taken 186 seconds and click on flight will be 234 milliseconds find flight will be 299 milliseconds payment details 171 milliseconds and sign off will be 215 milliseconds means all will be within one second only it is uh, executed for your test so you need to check for the these things are very important for our performance testing point of view maybe you are doing for performance testing means so login 100 user access also your application within two seconds is happening or not we need to check click on flight also within two seconds is happening or not find flight also within two seconds is happening or not payment details log out every will be within two seconds happening or not we need to check so now you guys will be understand right we are giving for the start transaction and end transaction why we are giving start and end transaction means 
we want to measure the particular transaction response time means for this code execution how much time it is taking you want to know means you need to give for this transaction start and end transaction if you not give a start and end transaction the you are not get for the any transaction response time we can call it as a see uh, this is the we can call it as a response time of each and every transaction this is the transaction already i told right we can call it as each and one will be one transaction so each transaction this is the response time what is the response time means so for example you are executed test sign off how much time it is taking for the executing for this step so it is calculate for this how much time it is taking for this execution so that is why which purpose we can use for the ls start and end transaction means to measure the response time point of view we need to use for the ls start and transaction now we can go up you can observe automatically it is launch happen so that is why we are not given launch transaction here that is why what will happen you are not able to see the launch transaction how much time it is taken you are able to see no right so what you need to do now we need to maybe you miss any transaction while recording the script you need to manually also we can give this is the start transaction this is the end transaction so where you want to give you can keep cursor there okay and click on this see start transaction ella start transaction then you can give for the launch url and same name you can copy because what is the name you are given end also you need to give for the same name this then transaction click on that in double close on place it's highlighting right you can give for the same name what is the start transaction name you are given in the double colon place you can need to give for the that transaction so now again we'll uh, save it and execute now you can observe launch also you are able to see the what time how much time it is taken for that one user see now it is came launch got it everyone so any doubts must on ashu so i'm stopping today class up to now and uh, tomorrow we'll continue our class after this uh, what are the things we can do and uh, what things we can do we'll, i will explain for the next class okay hello